Hello, this video is going to show how we can perform structural coverage using Eldere Cover. Now in order to be able to measure structural coverage I need to have some source code. So what I've done is I've used the IR embedded workbench for ARM and I've created a simple project here and this project is basically going around in a loop here toggling an LED on the board. And what I'd like to be able to do is to execute this code on my target and as it executes, I'd like to be able to find out, well, how much of this code have we actually exercised? So let's go and do it. Now, the starting point is I need to analyze my IR embedded workbench project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to invoke IR embedded workbench from within the LDRA build import tool. So let's go and invoke the IR embedded workbench. OK, there we have the project that I so showed earlier. Well, let's go and build this and check we can actually run it. So that's just built. And now I should be able to download and execute on the target. And that should go around this loop here. If I put a breakpoint on this particular function, we should be able to run. And there we can see that's now executing on my target. Right, so let's go and now close down the IR embedded workbench. And when we do so, IR LDA has been able to analyze what actually happened during the build. And we can see we've generated an executable here. So the out file, we can see we have a list of all the, the source files. We also have a list of the include paths and preprocessor symbols. So I have everything I need now, and I could open this with Eldery cover. Now to, to save time, I've already done that, and I've analyzed the code within uh, Eldery cover. So what I now want to be able to do is to, first of all, instrument this source code. So I want to put probes around all the, the branches in the code so I can find out which parts of the code have we exercised. I then want to build it, in this case, using the IR uh, embedded workbench. And then I want to execute the code on the target. Now, the problem here is my code never ends. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, when this function here has been executed 50 times, let's stop and get the, the coverage off the target. And then finally, I want to analyze the results. So let's go and start this. So this is going to start by, first of all, instrumenting the source code. It's then going to use that source code and it's going to perform the build using the IR build. So we should see that. There we go. That's just done the build. Now it's using IR CSPY to communicate with the target and execute it. I can see the LED is flashing. It must have flashed it 50 times. We've now got the results back from the target and we're starting to analyze those results and we should be able to see, well, what coverage have we actually obtained? OK, so that's uh, finished. Let's take a look at the coverage. So various ways we can view the coverage. I particularly like to view the, the call diagram. So we'll just open that up and then we're going to be able to, to see what coverage we've obtained. Right, so there we can see we're measuring statement coverage, branch decision coverage, also I'm measuring MCDC. And as we can see, there are a lot of functions here where we have no coverage at all. So these are probably dead, dead functions that I should remove from my project. But there are some where we do have coverage. So for instance, let's take a look at this particular function here. And there we've got a graphic representation of that code. So these are blocks of continuous statements. And we can see in green, this is a block we've executed. In yellow, it's a block that we've executed, but we haven't taken all the paths out of that particular block. So there we can see very clearly the paths that we've taken through this code. OK, what about some of these other functions? Well, again, I can click on them and I can see very clearly the paths we've taken through the code. Some of these are quite complex. We take a look at this particular one here, the HAL GPIO in it. I could even zoom in here and I can see very clearly we haven't taken all the paths through this code. There's a lot of code here that has never been executed. Well, that's one way of looking at the code. Let's take a look at a, maybe an HTML report. OK, so let's generate a, a code coverage report. So there we can see that I've not obtained the necessary coverage for ISO 26262 as a level D. So we've got fairly low coverage but we can scroll down and we can see exactly the coverage we've obtained. So here, for instance, the HALGPIO.C file, we've got 19% statement coverage, 
14 percent uh, branch decision coverage and zero MCDC. Well, let's go into this and see a bit more detail. So here we can see all the individual functions and we can see for the HAL GPIO init we've got 29 percent statement coverage. Once again we can go into this and we can see very clearly in red the parts of the code we've not executed and in green the parts we have executed. Okay, so hopefully that's given you a quick overview of LDRA cover. And if you'd like more information, then please don't hesitate to contact us at LDRA. Thank you.